Hello friends, this is Vanilla Data Table Scrud application tutorial series, and in this part, we will learn, how can we edit or update MySQL table data, using JavaScript FHRP, with PHP script. In the previous part, we have already seen, how to insert data into MySQL table, using JavaScript fetches API, with a PHP script and bootstrap model. Now in this part, we will first create an edit button in each row of the table, and when we have clicked on the button, then modal will be popping up with fill data, and then after, by click on edit button, then MySQL table data will be edited, using JavaScript fetch API. Now let's start discussing this topic, so first we have gone to index.php file, and here we have added a new table column, with name action, under this table column, we will make edits and delete button. So here first we want to make edits button, so first we have go to function.php file, and we have gone to fetch top file data function, and under this, here we have write open and close table data tag. Between this, we have button type is equal to button, after this, we have written on click is equal to fetch data javascript function. Under this function, we have written dollar $row source code it variable, so this edit button will display, on each table row data, and when we have clicked one this button, then this fetch data function will be called. Now we have to copy this code, and go to fetch.php file. Under this file, we have written $subarray variable as equal to, and here we have pasted that edit button code, now we have saved this code, and check output in the browser. Friends here we can see that, when we have URL in browser, then we can see that, customer data have been loaded in vanilla data tables, and now we can see edit button, in each row of data. So when we have clicked on this edit button, then bootstrap model will be pop up, with filled data. For this we have go to index.php file, and here we have gone to javascript code part, and here we have make fetch data function, with it as argument. Under this function, we have written form data variable as equal to, new form data object, in this function, we will use form data object, for sending data to the server. Below this, we have written, form data variable dot append method with two arguments, in first key name argument, we have written it, and in value argument, we have written it variable value. The same way we want to send action variable, to fetch the value, with ajax request, so for this, we have written, form data variable dot append method, with two arguments, in the first argument, we have write action variable name, and in the second argument, we have written fetch. Now we have write fetch api method, with two arguments, and in the first argument, we have written action.php, so it will send ajax request to this file. And in the second argument, we have written option, and in the first option, we have written method, and here we have used post method, for sending data to the server. In the second option, we have written body, and here we have written form data variable, so this option will send data to the server. Next we have written, then callback function, this function will just receive, HTTP response from server. Now to get a response in JSON, so here we have written, return statement in response.json method. After this, we have again written, then callback function, this function will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, for fill first name text box with data, so here we have written, underscore function, with text box it first name dot value is equal to, response data dot first name variable. 
After this, for fill last name text box with data, so here we have written, underscore function, with text box id last name dot value is equal to, response data dot last name variable. Next to fill a customer email, text box with data, so here we have written, underscore function, with text box id customer email dot value is equal to, response data dot customer email variable. Now for customer gender, select box, here we have written, underscore function, with select box it customer gender dot value is equal to, response data dot customer gender variable. After this, we have gone to bootstrap modal code, and here we have created one input type as equal to a hidden field, with name as equal to customer id, and it is equal to customer id. Now again go to fetch data function, and here we have written, underscore function, with hidden field it, customer it dot value is equal to it variable. Next we want to change the hidden action field value, so here we have written, hidden field it, action dot value is equal to, update. After this, we want to change bootstrap modal title text, so here we have written, the field id modal title dot inner html is equal to, edit data, so this title will be displayed, when we have done editing data operation. Same way, we want to change submit button text, so here we have written, button id, action button, dot inner html is equal to edit, so this text will be displayed on the submit button. Lastly, we want to pop up bootstrap modal, so here we have called open modal function, so here our code is ready, now we have gone to action.php file. And here we have written, if statement, and under condition, we have written dollar post action variable value as equal to fetch, if this condition true, then it will execute, if a block of code. Under this block, we have written dollar $query variable is equal to, select star from customer table, where customer id is equal to, dollar post id variable. Below this query, we have written dollar result variable is equal to, dollar connect variable to query method, and under this, we have written dollar $query variable, this method will return query execution result, in an array format. Below this, we have created one data variable is equal to, an array. Now for fetching data from dollar result variable, we have written for each loop, and under condition, we have written dollar result variable, as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have written, dollar data first name variable is equal to, dollar row customer first name table column. For store last name table column data, here we have written, the dollar data last name variable is equal to, dollar row customer last name table column name. For store customer email table column data, so for this, here we have written, dollar data, customer email variable is equal to, dollar row customer email table column name. And lastly for store customer gender table column data, here we have written, dollar data, customer gender variable is equal to, dollar row customer gender table column name. So here, we have stored all data in dollar data variable, now we want to send to the Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have written, echo statement, with JSON and code function, with dollar data variable. So now we have checked the output in the browser. Friends here, first we have refreshed page, and after this, we have clicked on this row edit button. After click on edit button, here we can see that bootstrap modal has been pop up, with fill form data, and here, we can see that modal title, and submit button text also change, so when we have clicked on this edit button, then customer data must be edited. 
So for this, we have go to index.php file, and here we have already written, code for submitting form data. So now we need to write, only the PHP script for submit data. So in action.php file, here we have written, if statement, and under condition, we have written, post action variable value is equal to update, if this condition true, then it will execute if a block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to update customer table, set customer first name is equal to double colon customer first name, customer last name is equal to double colon customer last name, customer email is equal to double colon customer email, customer gender is equal to double colon customer gender, where customer it is equal to dollar post customer it variable. So this is update query, for update customer table data. Now below this, we have written, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable, with prepare method, with dollar query variable, this method will make a query for execution. Now for execute query, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have written, dollar statement variable, with dollar executes method, and under this, we have written dollar data variable, if query successfully runs, then it will execute, if a block of code. And under this block, we have written, dollar output success variable is equal to, this data updated message, so this message will be displayed on the web page. Now we need to send data to the Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have written, echo statement, with JSON and code method, and under this, we have written dollar $output variable, so it will send data in JSON format, so here our code is ready, now we have checked the output in the browser. Friends first we have refreshed web page, and after a refresh of page, here we can see that customer data has been loaded in vanilla data tables, and in each row of data, we can see edit button. Now we have clicked on the edit button, and after click on the button, here we can see that bootstrap model has been popping up in the browser, and in model, we can see, the form has been filled, with data. Now we have changed, last name details, and after this, we have clicked on the edit button, so after click on the edit button, here we can see success message on a web page, and here last name details has been changed. So in this tutorial, we have performed, update data operation in vanilla data table scrud application, on a single page without page refresh, by using javascript fetch api, with php script, and bootstrap model. In the next part, we will learn, how to perform deletes data operation, in vanilla data table scrud application, by using javascript fetch api, with php script.